Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh and a very good day to all of you viewers out there. Thank you for watching one of my videos and for this um, particular videos we are going to talk about the students with special needs, the low incidence disabilities. As usual, my name is Dr. Hafiz and you are watching Dr. Hafiz Explains. Yeah, let's first go into the definition of this topic, the low incidence disability. So what is actually, what it is actually is talking about the probability of, 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 of its occurrence, of this, this disability occur in the population of students with special needs. We are talking about the probability, you know, not about the the, the, the numbers of, of, of students yeah so the def by definition is the disabilities that have lower probability to occur within the population of students with special needs if compared to the high incidence disability okay so low probability meaning that the chance of you uh, bumping into the into students with that kind of disability is low in the population of students with special needs so that is what we, we we define low incidence disability as okay simple non-technical for your information fyi um the total number of students with special needs in terms of low incidence disabilities um is just 10 percent from the whole population of the students with special special needs so just 10 percent out of 100 percent population of students with special needs if we compare this with the learning disability learning disability sorry uh, within the students with special needs students with special needs with learning disabilities have higher higher percentage uh, within the population of, of, of the students with special needs so you have a higher chance of to bump into students with learning disability um, rather than bumping into students with um, the low incidence disability all right okay so there are a few types of low incidence disability okay first we got the visual impairment they have something wrong or something not right with the eyes so it affects the visual uh, hearing impairment yeah there's something not uh, not right for you probably from birth or after accident uh, they lost hearing ability all right and then physical and health disability all right, so the three types of low incidence disability so that's it for this video. It's just a brief introduction about low incidence disability. So after this, we are going to explore each and every type of these low incidence disabilities like um, the visual impairment, the hearing impairment, and the third one is the physical and health disabilities. So we are going to address each one of the type of uh, low incidence disabilities on its own video. So I hope you uh, stay tuned for more videos, upcoming videos for this and be sure to subscribe to my channel on YouTube or like my Facebook page Dr. Davis Explains. This has been one of the videos that I've produced under the name Dr. Davis Explains and I see you guys later. Thank you.